This episode of Comedy Bang Bang is brought to you by Amazon Music. Amazon Music is the simplest way to listen to the music you love. Discover tens, and it doesn't stop there, of millions of songs and thousands of curated playlists and stations across all your devices just by asking. Find your favorite songs not just at the tip of your fingers, but also at the tip of your tongue, my dear boy. Engaging with music has never been more natural, simple, and fun. New customers, start your 30-day free trial at amazonmusic.com. That is amazonmusic.com to start your 30-day trial for free. Renews automatically, cancels anytime. The most helpful thing you can do right now involves butter, I guarantee you that. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Thank you to J-Man the Great for that catchphrase, and thank you to Reggie Watts for singing the theme song. We'll see you later, Reggie. Act- you know what? Actually, Reggie? Yeah. Do you mind sticking around? No, no, that's actually... Yeah, why not? Yeah, I mean, you always leave after the theme song. I do. I, I just have a lot of stuff, you know. Yeah, but I, I feel like we, I haven't talked to you in so long. Do you just want to just stick around today? <sighs> okay. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah, no, no, no. That's totally cool. Actually, you know what? I'm happy to do it. Do you have to get back to cording or anything I, I, like that? I, I have to get back to recording. But you know what? I'm in control of the, 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 the schedule. Regarding Corden. Yeah, that should re- be like his, yeah. <laughs> like a biography of him. Yes, regarding. Re-corden. Yeah, yeah recorded. Corden recorded. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, stick around. Okay. Do you yeah. have any, uh, uh, who's your friend? Do you want to stick around? Uh, yeah, I brought, yeah, just happened to have my friend John here with me. And we, oh. we, uh, we do this crazy project um we have our equipment with us i mean if you well yeah i mean you always think, sing the theme song so you always yeah. have your equipment with yeah but you, john but... doesn't always have his equipment. oh so you brought some equipment too I did. John, I i'm figured. sorry who, who are you you're my john na- my name is john tejada john tejada yeah oh wait a minute the uh, uh the electronic music yeah, john tejada that's the one <laughs> with uh solo records like 13 solo records yeah, a whole bunch of them yeah whoa okay <laughs> wait how do you guys know each other uh, from the dance scene. From the dance oh, scene. So funny. What does that mean? <laughs> not the ballet dance scene. No. Uh, not the two step or no. score dancing scene. No. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why don't you guys stick around? Okay. Right. And I can talk to you guys. Yeah. And you you say you have a you have a project together. Is that right? Yeah, it's a kind of a hybrid of both of our last names. Uh, it's Watts and Tejada, so it's Wahada. Wahada. Okay, well, stick around. Let's talk about yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, John, uh, can you get your, your gear? Yeah, get, uh, get Okay, hang on. Yeah. Oh, wow, he's putting on like a, a like a Dick Van Dyke and Mary Poppins one-man band kind of situation. This is incredible. So cool. Uh, welcome to the show. This is Comedy Bang Bang for another week. Scott Ackerman, your host, and of course, uh, my good friend Reggie Watts here. You know, we're uh, we just celebrated the nine-year anniversary of Comedy Bang Bang. We're still in the victory lap of that. And uh, Reggie is a person who's been there for all nine of the years and uh, very important. He's here every week singing the Comedy Bang Bang theme song. He was, of course, uh, my co-host and band leader on the Comedy Bang Bang TV show for a good 70 episodes and then came back for a 71st. And, uh, you know, uh, obviously uh, one of my uh, best work friends. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, welcome back to the show, Reggie Watts. Hello, Reggie. Hey. And John Tejada is here as well. Hello. And you you both have a project, you say, coming up called Wahada. Yeah, we've got a, an album called Casual High Technology. Out Casual May. High Technology. <laughs> May 11th. So coming up this Friday? No, coming to no, know it's already Another out. Friday. Nope. Nope, it, Not, it is already it out. Is out. I meant it's out, yep. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. So people can get that right now. Indeed, stream and, away. And you say casual high technology. Is that like a casual high? Is that what, uh, like, Reggie, you like to smoke pot? I, I have smoked pots at time, but I, you know, I, I ingest a lot too these days. I, you know, I don't know where we came up. I think it was just like we were ban- word bantering and that phrase came along. Didn't really think too much about it. Mm-hmm. So you, so that's the uh, attention to detail that you like to give your work. That's Always. how we connect. That is usually is the best formula for our work. Yes. Yeah. First thought, best thought. You yes. could have just called it that. Could have. Well, we've you know we hope to make a next one. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's it. Thanks. So this is God. a long player. 
It's very long. And it's, it's LP, yeah. And it's music? Uh, is yeah. it serious music? Is it funny music? Is it a combination of both? It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's XM. It's, <laughs> it's serious. Uh, well, you know. It's not comedy based. It is on a comedy label. But, um, <laughs> is it laughs based? Reggie like, did a... did you record laughs like ha ha ha, and then Reggie sampled them and then built oh, all the music I, out of that? I see how you'd think that. No. Oh, okay. See, that's what I would have done. Yeah, it's on Comedy Dynamics. Wahada. Well, okay, and yeah. this is out, and uh, you guys are going to play some songs here from it. Is yeah. it? Uh, do I have that uh, information correctly? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think John got his gear, so I think, and I was already set up from okay. doing the theme song. So. Well, why don't you guys stick mm-hmm. around, and we can uh, do the show together, and we have other guests as well, like other guests that I had booked when I didn't yeah. know that you were going to stick around. But, oh, uh, yeah. Is that cool? You guys, uh, uh, yeah. and then we'll play some songs, and uh, yeah. people will, and then I, th- I think it would be really fun if people were to judge each song whether they liked it or not, and then, yeah. like, tweeted at you. Oh, oh are you, man, I mean. <laughs> just nor- tweet at Reggie. Like, nor- in real time, <laughs> yeah. just like, I like this one. I don't like this one. Yeah. What do you think? Well, normally you have to ask people to do that. So it's good that we are asking. Make them sure that, that, and you're at Reggie Watch, just make yeah. sure, just a real casual, like, this one, great. This one, not my cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can also hit us on Wahada for Real on Twitter as well. Again, Wahada, we're, we're asking you. So. With a four or with a F O R? Or F O U R? Four. four. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the fantastic. number four. Fantastic. Fantastic. Like fantastic. Yeah. Right. That clears it all up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let us uh, stick around. Uh, this is great. Uh, we do have some guests who are actually going to, who were booked on the show. Um, yes. And let's get to him. Uh, he's an old friend. He has, uh, uh, he's been on the show several times and uh, he started out as a sports reporter as I recall, but his interest in sports seems to have waned a, a little bit. I mean, uh, I don't, sure. in fact, I don't think that you've even talked about sport, as Mitt Romney says, for uh, for months at this point. Correct. It's not something that I'm going to talk about today. Okay. Uh, please welcome back to the, uh, he's also been uh, part of the uh, uh, car contest that's lasted yes. several years. Apparently he took himself away from that. Uh, very keeping complicated. Very complicated car yes. co- contest to win a car, but please welcome back our friend Ming. Hello, Ming. Thank you. Thank you for having me back. Happy, oh, it's, no, happy it's my nine pleasure. years. Happy nine years. It's a very odd number to celebrate. Ten will be better. Yeah, I, if I agree. You make but it, I hope you make it. But but what would be even more odd would be to celebrate something that wasn't like years. Like you know, hey, right. this is yeah. you know two thousand five hundred and seventy eight days. That's, that would be even that more. would be like nine point six two years. Right. Yeah. I think yes. doing it on the year is actually okay. No, you know, you didn't make it up. Someone else made up the idea of on the years uh, well, celebration. Scientists. Yes, but not you. Well, I so. guess the scientists the scientists made up the idea of years based yes. on facts, and then someone I wonder who that person is. Cele- Ce- celebration someone was like, scientists. you know what? We should like celebrate this every time it happens. A scientists of celebrations. Mm-hmm. Those <laughs> that's who did it. They they break down what is a celebration. Uh, they do a hypothesis, and then mm-hmm. they prove this one is a celebration. Ming, do you not celebrate things? I try to, but I can't uh, always commit. To okay. Do it. Because Why is that? tradition, it means nothing to me unless I have a personal connection to it. So I'm not going to celebrate your something. You want me to try to make me do it. I'm not going to do okay, it. So let's, okay. So you know, let's give a hypothetical. Say it's okay. Reggie's birthday. Okay. Ha- that happy mean, birthday to you. That means something to him. Yes. But you don't want to celebrate it? But no, that one is fine. Okay. I will celebrate this for him because this Reggie, is Reggie, would you deal. invite Ming to your birthday party? Uh,. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he sure. wants to celebrate it. It means something to yeah. him, That's apparently. Fine. I, you know what? Your uh, yeah means you're not excited, so I don't need to come, all right? So that's fine. I, I don't, don't, but don't try to clown Ming here, by the way. That's what he's, I'm okay. He's very upset about, about that. that. John, I don't like to get I, I see. I see okay. you on the edge of your seat about to clown Ming. Don't please, ever, please don't ever do it. try to do it, because if you do it, I will not forget. You will burn in my memory that you forgive, this person but you don't clown forget? me. I don't forget. You don't forgive and you don't forget? I will forget to forgive. <laughs> okay, that's a totally okay. different totally different point of view. Uh, well, anyway, the one I don't celebrate is yeah. Easter. It's boring. I don't like it. To me, it don't exist. You try to say Happy Easter, I will pretend that you are the wind. 
I, you know what? Jesus really had it going on both ends, didn't he? Like he's he's got you coming on Christmas when he was born, yep. and then he's got you going on Good Friday when he dies, and then he yep. gets another one. He's got three days. He's very greedy about holidays. Jesus is a greedy holiday guy. Man, he's just really miserly when it comes to those. He's like three for himself. Talk about all about me. Come on, right? Yeah, it's like Martin Luther King. He only gets junior. I mean, he only gets one. Yes, and you know, and senior should get one too because he made junior. Are there there any other holidays that just celebrate someone's death? Can anyone think of any, any of these? Like Jesus really, ha- he's got two birthdays, Easter and right. Christmas, and he's got one death day, Good Friday. Winston in- Churchill? Winston Churchill, yeah. We is all it, celebrate Winston Churchill Day. Is St. Patrick's Day the day the little guy died? <laughs> Which little guy are you thinking the of? The little drunk uh, leprechaun well, who, who are you thinking of right now? Because the one that has the hat and the vest. Who's in your mind's eye right now? I'm trying to figure out. Because I'm thinking of a cartoon character when you say that. Is that what you're thinking of? It's possible. but they, Are you, you know, thinking of the Lucky Charms guy? Is that what you're thinking of? That's similar to that, yes. He, but more serious. He technically is still alive in the Lucky Charmiverse. Okay. Then they, he is not passed. Then that is not an example. Ming, what are you here to talk about? I want to talk about is uh, this very appropriate. They were talking about Jesus. Apropos uh, or appropriate? Which one did you want to say? Both. That's why I said appropriate on purpose. <laughs> that is a clumsy portmanteau. It's both things, okay? What? Like, you shouldn't be making portmanteaus of two things that mean the same thing. Why and not? also sound almost exactly you alike. mean the same thing. On Us- p- double. It Usually double, a portmanteau okay? is two things that are different that you push t- together. You are terrible, man, okay? The, here's the thing. You are like a, a left-hand turn from the right-hand lane. <laughs> okay. okay. I don't mean to be like that. You are because you make me so uh, hot with mad with I, rage. I beg right? your pardon. Let's cool. Let's de-escalate and the situation. And then later that day, I forget you exist, but right now you're the most important thing in my life that I want to destroy. Okay, please. Okay? I, I don't mean to insult our guest. Reggie, I this happens. This would happen on the TV show sometimes. People yeah. get upset with things I said. Yeah, it's weird. It's a weird no, you'd, you would have to step in to de-escalate the situation. John, I, I know you weren't there, but I'm sure that you've been in situations like this in your life. Lots of hate, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he usually... What was that, Reggie? Did you just hit uh, one Reggie. of your instruments? Uh, yet, Reggie. No, sorry. I know. I, that kind of—I mean, it was kind of like added a uh, Christopher Nolan, you know, uh, esque kind of like Inception sort of dramatic music to what's happening with Ming right now. Do For you want to? For a ki- second, I would thought Scott was transported away, and I was very excited. <laughs> no, I'm still We're here, still unfortunately. Here. Keep this going while Ming talks about what he wants to talk about. Okay, I want to talk about cults. Oh, this it's, fits the mood. Cults. It does. It does. Thank you, Reggie. They are very big in the news uh, lately, you know, so mm. many cults. Maybe a little more three weeks ago, but... You know, in general, it's fine, okay? Right. That cults, everybody's always talking about them, and I think it's time for a new cult that maybe I'm going to start one. Wait, wait, wait. Okay? Now, most people would say that cults are bad. I agree. <coughs> Excuse me. And most people would say coughs are bad, but I decided to do it on air. Thanks for making us all sick. So, but you you think cults are okay? You just think you want to start a new one? They are not good, okay? But why can't we not start a good one? Okay, well, what... Break the cycle. What would a okay? good cult to be, be to you? All right, Reggie, I think that's enough. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I'm starting to feel cold, and it's not cold because of this music. Everything feels like it's steel. Yeah, exactly. It's cold okay. steel walls. All right. Okay. How are you feeling now? This feels better to you? A little you? better. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now you want to start a cult, but like, who goes to a cult? Right? These broken, sad people. They well, need I think a cult. That's that's a really uh, mean thing to say. That's I mean. not mean. It's true. What you think of very happy, well-adjusted people go to a cult? Now they go to brunch. Okay, if you're having a good life, you're gonna go to brunch. You're not gonna go to a cult. So brunches are the cults of happy people. That's right. Okay, I can see that. Yes. Yeah, Reggie, uh, you go to a cult or a brunch on Sunday? Um, I go to. I go to. I just go to brunch. Say. Yeah, John, where are you at with this? Yeah, a little bit of both. He did 13 <laughs> solo album. He does something alone on the on the. <laughs> You're just by time. yourself. <laughs> he does not do thing together. He's giving it a shot with this mm-hmm. so contributing album, but we'll see. Maybe he go back alone again so if it don't work out. Some people go to you know Church of Scientology on Sunday mornings. Yes, they do. The Catholic Church, some would say, is a cult. Yes. Other people go to brunch. Yes. Now, 
if you're sad and broken, you go to a call, they lie to you, they tell you horrible things, and they do horrible things, and then you eventually find out this is terrible, right? Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes when you go to brunch, they lie to you. That's true. Because they're like, yeah, we have the pancakes still. But then uh, they take and a then they go back time. and they yeah oh, they take a long time and by the time they put the order in the sorry eighty six eighty six pancakes it's like oh no I forgot to put the order in can we right. oh, how do I lie to them and right and then they try to give you a French toast it's mm. not what I ordered yeah and then they go oh I swear you ordered the French toast like let me go oh no but we're out no, of pancakes is the French toast okay pancake. now we yeah. have a problem but no this yeah so you can get lied to anywhere but see my point is. That once you come out of that cult, okay, you need something in your life, and that is another cult. Okay, so it's my cult. Sort of like when you come off hard drugs. Yes. You need a drug to help you get off the drug. Like methadone or something like that to kind of just like ease you out of it. My cult will be the methadone of cults, right? Because if you are a sad, broken person, go to a cult, then you come out and the cult is disbanded and you find out this guy, he started it. He's Then you have to go cult turkey. Okay, enough, right? (laughs) Stop this. Ming. I'd rather you just way. cough That's some more <laughs> than talk about this again. Okay? Ming. All right. So um, because if you are sad, broken, going to call, come out, you, you're even worse now. There's no way you're in a good place. So you need something, and I will provide it with my cult, which is only for people who have been in another cult. It's the okay. only way you can be in it. What do you have in mind? Does, it, does this have a name? Not yet, but that's fine. You were gonna. It's have, okay not to have a name. That's like the the like big important thing with cults usually, you know. Oh, I'm so sorry. The guy who made up the rule for the cult, I forgot I was talking to you. Right? I didn't make up any rule rule for the cult. I just they have such catchy names. They have the like Nexium, Nexium, and they have uh, what was the Waco one? The the Good Time Branch Boys, di- Branch, Davidians. Branch Davidians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, you maybe know? this will be the. Uh, um, mangers, mangers. Mm, I, no. Yeah, the yeah, first thought, like not it. best no. thought, when no. it comes to you. But me. see, when you force us to talk about this, I'm not forced. I asked you a question. Me, when I said it doesn't matter, you no, no one could see it. Okay, you let grab me, my forearm and me you squeeze a little bit. Okay, and it hurt me. It's just a gentle nudge to like no coerce you into it. talking about this. What I what I mean to say is, no one's forcing you. If you were to go meet someone, if you were to go on a show right. and just meet someone for the first time, and someone says, "Oh, by the way, what's your name?" You would you consider that to be you're forcing me to say I my name? I would say, well, that's I don't have a name right now. I would say that's mysterious. I want to know more, which is like my cult. Say it doesn't see have it a didn't name come off that way. It didn't mysterious. come off that way. Meaning it came off to me as if you haven't thought this through. Where the basics, just what is your cult's name? You haven't even thought about you it. Like the look of me. panic in your eyes, like you were a frightened animal that you I'd come like across a, in the road. You are a Gatling gun of terrible. Is what you are, okay? okay. And I'm I apologize. hiding behind the rock until you finish. Okay, I and apologize. I emerge. Let's okay? move. Let's move on. So, tell me about this. Cult. Here's what's gonna happen. I don't know everything, but I do know we're not gonna lie to you about anything. Okay, that's mm-hmm. that's one thing. Okay, I'm gonna have all the good things for me. I'm gonna say, hey, you. I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna get everything I want. So you're gonna be the David Miscavige uh, or uh, uh, Koresh. Uh, like figure at the top of the cult. I will be that guy. Where all the money is flowing up to you. Is there going to yes. be like a Nexium style sex thing that flows up to you as no, well? No, because anyone who wants to have a sexual time with you, someone who doesn't really want it, that's cr- weird. I'm not so the, interested. So the whole Koresh marrying no, thank you. Jim Jones part, like you want to leave that out. Marriage it's, is too complicated, paperwork, mm-hmm. and uh, et cetera. So, so no purely, marriage, a, purely no a money thing. It's about money. It's going to be power? Fun, fun uniform power for oh, me. Oh, fun uniform. Fun uniform. Like, like what? You know the old-timey uh, kid hat with the propeller? Sure, the beanie with a propeller yes. on it, multicolored beanie. Yes, it's like that, but no propeller. Okay. Okay, because think about it combines the fun. The colors make you think, wow, fun. Yeah, it's like working at a hot dog on a stick. Yes, mm-hmm. but then it also combines 
that like he's remind you of the Jewish hat, the yarmulke. Yarmulke, yeah, yeah. So it's not hot dog on the stick series. dimensions of sort of like a KFC hat or anything. No, no, it's very tiny, like yeah. just cover your bald spot. Okay, so it's a multicolored yarmulke. Yes, because now it's like, oh, remind me religious Jewish people and also mm-hmm. very fun. Mm-hmm. It's the colors of a big top almost, like a fun circus. big top. On I also think time. those propellers, when you see them, it's like the expectation is that someone's going to, you know, hover. Right, it's a lie. Know? So it takes that out. It is a know? lie because you cannot fly with this. Mm-hmm. It's not going to happen. There's okay. ways to fly, but that's not one. Okay, so the uniform, you've described a hat. I don't know whether yes. you've really described a uniform at this point as much as just a hat. Well, you know, that's like saying, hey, what did you do today? And after I tell you the first thing, you say, you did not tell me everything you okay, did today. Okay, I bet you were continuing then? Uh, yes. Because you, it's okay. been a long time since you mentioned the hat with no follow-up. Oh, you're so sorry to bore you. Are you trying? It's not boring. Are you I'm just merely. Cough? Are you holding in your cough? No, nope, my cough's like, gone. We have to finish this so I can cough. Nope, my cough's totally gone. I did Excellent. it the once. That's all I know. I'm a one and done guy when Very it comes to nice. coughs. Very good. Okay, so continue down below forehead level. Okay, now we're going to wear a jumpsuit. That's a very dark color. doesn't show stains. Because <laughs> okay, what color? It does whatever. Like a cheap, navy? Okay, whatever I can get for uh, cheap so I have more money left for me. Because okay. he, he, I don't want everyone wearing all white. Because it yeah. looks interesting for a second, but then stains are going to yeah. happen. And I don't want people walking around with stains. Yeah, a lot of me. laundry needs. Yes, yeah. up the laundry. Okay. I feel like you only have to wash the one piece I am imagining ad- every couple days. you got to admit it would make that hat pop, though, with the white. Well, what if it's a dark color that is incorporated into the hat? And yes, no one's arguing white makes anything pop, but it also is going to have mustard. It's going to have wine. Mustard I stains? I go on. Anything it's that is not why yeah. why is not going to make a stain. Right. Even water make a temporary stain. You might want to pick one of the colors in the hat and then match it to the jumpsuit. You know, I like a just fun. said that. <laughs> I did. I say this is my idea. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you say it. I just oh, want to claim it as my idea. You are like um, when you see a crow on your lawn, and you go, "How do I get it off my lawn?" Without going to get PETA all over me. And with angry, he shot at the crow. Or let's say I successfully just shoo you away. Now, oh, I'm going to have a bad uh Where do you uh, live mojo. that there are crows on your lawn, Ming? I've never talked about you to you about your living situation. Where are you living? I live in Sherman Oaks. Sherman Oaks and there are crows around? That's not the middle of the why, desert. Why do you not have a crow in Sherman Oaks? Okay, I don't know. I guess I've never seen a crow in the city. Well, Other than Brandon Lee that one time. Sounds that like, didn't work yeah, out too well like for him. It sounds like a great idea for a show or movie, Crow mm, in the City. Crow, it really does. Uh, right. This is my idea, though, you have to admit. Well, on that one, that's mine. You made it clear everything is your idea. You if it's on my show, yeah, idea on this show. If yes, it's on my show, it's then it's yours. my idea. So my cult should have, will have, activity. Activities such as softball, safe but fun. Also, um, we're going to do scavenger hunts, right? Oh, wow. This is great. Okay. Because it keep them busy for a long time. You're going to have to have – You got to keep, keep them, them busy. active so that their minds are – So they don't sit around and think, oh. Like, where's all my money going to? Should I be in a cult? Yeah, okay. Got to keep them active. So scavenger hunts, what are you – like, what are these going to be like? Three things they're going to have to go get. First okay. one is something very easy so they feel successful. I'm doing it. Right off the bat. Yeah, give yes. them a little, like, burst of, like, oh, wow. Yeah, just like a napkin from Popeye's Chicken. Like, okay. It's free. If you can't get that, I probably don't even want you in my cult because, come on, <laughs> yeah. just walk in. Yeah, these are the basics. Take it. No one cares. Okay? Yeah, no one's going to argue. No one's going to say, hey, get out of our Popeye's chicken. There's not going to be. You can have a napkin. Yeah. They don't want, maybe they don't want you to use the restroom if you didn't buy something there. But eat a napkin, it's like, fine, whatever. I almost feel like the I napkin, though, is maybe more valuable than the chicken at Popeye's. You know what I mean? They, like like at a at a just like cost level. Cost per manufacturer, you know? probably yeah. true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good for you. Okay, okay so you what's number something two? Something true. Great. <laughs> now, um, Reggie, do I deserve to be treated like this? Just as a dispassionate observer, you know, I don't know. I'd say like sixty percent, yes. Okay, sixty is All right. m- is. Is, is Look, he yes. was he was to the left of me uh, uh, so so many times. I trust his opinion. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, okay. comedy is lying. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. That's why you're very good at it, Scott Alkerman. Mm. You are a born liar. So what's number two? What's your second thing? Second thing is uh, after that is you're gonna bring me a safety item like a 
you know, a fire extinguisher or a um, smoke detector, just stuff that, you know, safety is key. Like an axe? But <laughs> like, like if you break the glass and there's like an, uh, an axe? Definite. That's, yeah, we need one. But I'm not going to have an axe. Uh, Wait, is this just to stock to up your safety? Yes, because we need to have it for the compound, but I don't want to buy it. Oh, okay, that so stuff can be expensive. Is, yes, so it's to okay. save money on the thing we need to be safe. I don't want a branch Davidian fire, but if it happens, okay. we're going to be ready. Okay, yeah. And we're going to be ready, not on my dime, okay. but from the scavenger hunt. You, you're, you're like the frugal c- cult leader. Yes, I am, because you these know? other cult leaders, you know, they may be a little too, like, freewheeling. That's why they, their yeah. cult fall apart. Mine will never fall apart. Yeah. On payday, it seems like, you know, those cult leaders are out there spending way too much. Fridays to cult leaders usually. Yeah, it's like, let's blow it. Yeah. Uh, but nothing left for Monday. Yeah, so no, you're, no, yeah, no. you're keeping it up there. Okay. We're going to stretch it out. And, it's going to last till I am in the sky. And, and, and where do you think people are? Do you have an opinion on that of where you're going? Is that something that you tell the cults? Is there some sort of like weird planet? What's the planet in some of those cults, Reggie? The, uh, um, the isn't it? Isn't Randarf it? AIDS. Randarf, yeah. Zilla, well, there was another one AIDS? that you were telling me about. Uh, Dildar. Dildar. Dildar, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the double-ended planet. Yeah, yes, yeah, there's right. two ends. These people just... are very broken to believe this, okay? Mm-hmm. See, I tell you, my cult, I'm never going to lie to people, okay? Oh, okay, so what, then what are you so telling I'm people? Not, I'm just going to say it's very mysterious. Mysterious yeah. or just we don't know? Well, maybe I know, maybe I don't. But you, I feel like you're lying. Do you know? I did not say I know. I said maybe I know. That's it's a not form a lie. of lying. No, it's not. You That's... are a liar because you're a comedy guy. <laughs> Okay, what's the third thing that people find on this? Then the last thing is uh, you're going to go talk to the cult member next to you, grab a buddy, find out something made them sad in their lifetime, an object. Now go track it down. Bring it to me, okay? (laughs) Wait, are you you using this for blackmail purposes? No, 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 no. Another cult would do this. Mine would not do that first. Remember, mm-hmm. what's the key? Keep on busy a long time. That's going to take a long time to track it down. Like, I guess so, especially if people are coming in from out of state. Yes. The item yeah. that made you upset when you were a child, you right. got to go looking. Could it right? be a replica? Can it, If it was a certain like book, could you get like another copy? It doesn't have to be the actual I'm gonna copy. I'm going to say of- the actual item, and mm-hmm. then if somebody is really having a hard time, maybe we'll make an exception. So this is going to favor pe- locals. Basically. Oh, yeah. They're going to do better. Okay. But then when they bring it to me, now we're going to have a big bonfire, throw it in. Throw it in the fire. Everybody's happy. Everyone's happy. And it took a very long time. Don't you think the act of actually going and retrieving it will make people sad? Uh, sadder than they were already, that it maybe doesn't balance itself out when you throw it in the fire? You cannot make people happy unless you take them down first. It's mm. impossible. Okay. okay. Think yeah. about you go to a therapist's office. They don't say, don't tell me anything. I don't that, do I, that. That's a bunch of mumbo jumbo. I don't do that. Whoa. And you, but you think a cult is not? But you think no, I think I think it's mumbo jumbo? Yeah, I think it's a cult. Okay. I think therapy what is a makes cult. you happy? What is a thing that makes you happy? Um, if I had to rank them in order, uh, Disneyland, you got to park Disney, first. Disneyland, so you got to go down before you come up. The goddamn parking lot. No, you got to deal with it. No, no, then no. no. You I get, get a driver. I get a driver. He just drops me off right at the uh, entrance. Okay. So Disneyland's number one. Okay. Um, money is number two. Uh, having my penis touched is number three. Okay. For, and first off, those. That's I don't about it. Want to talk about your penis anymore? Okay. It's got to be the right person, Ming. Oh, like I'm not saying you touching I it. Don't. Although if you want to touch it, uh, it's, it's right here. Stop, We're right. Stop and put it away now. Put it away. All right, I'll put it. I'm just saying. Stop. Okay. Now, for money, it's like to get it. You gotta make someone has to be unhappy for you but to get money. But that's your whole cult. Your all the money is flowing up to you. That's but I don't lie. Yeah. So, but what is your issue? <laughs> you have an issue with me liking money, but you're, it's okay for no. you to like money. Do you forget what we were even talking about? You I said think so. I might. Have. You said well, you. Why do you have to make people sad to make them happy? I tried mm-hmm. to give you examples when before okay. you can have money, someone else has to oh, be I sad see. Oh, to I get, get the money. Okay, that so, was the point. So what then? What about my who who when my penis gets touched? Who's unhappy? Uh, don't answer that. I am so unhappy right now because every time you say that, I am forced to have an image in my mind of your penis and then don't What's want the, it What there. do you think you have? What's the image? 
It's like, is it like um, Dildar? <laughs> the image is like uh, it's the color of a baloney. You're thinking of the Lucky Charms guy again. <laughs> the, and does that have a little little uh, green hat on top? And he's the he does not. That would be nicer. And it's a uh, it's squishiness of a of a. Or what do you call the hacky sack squishy? Hacky you, sack. you could have just said baloney for that too. Same consistency. Well, but I don't know why you're mixing the metaphors be, between baloney and hacky sack at this point. It's like just stick with baloney. A whole pack. It was of working bologna. for you. It okay. was working for you. Okay, so fine. He look like, he feel like baloney, <laughs> and smells like, <laughs> and smell like baloney. Okay, taste. Okay. We don't know. Fine. Thank you for telling me what's in my mind. You ask me what's in your mm-hmm. mind, then you tell me no. This mm-hmm. is what's in your mind. Mm-hmm. That. Is not allowed in my cult, mm-hmm. this sort of controlling behavior. Mm-hmm. Ming, we're coming up on a break here. Anything else you want to say about the cult? Just, you know what? You're not allowed in it. <laughs> Good. I don't want to be in it. Then great. Where are you going to congregate? In a, a compound, wherever we can get probably a city of industry. City of industry? Oh, okay. That's a bit of a drive. sounds like a place where you want to get there, you don't need to... Uh, I guess no you really, it really the motivated people will end up there. Yeah, if you can't even get your shit together enough to get to the cult, we don't want you. Got it. Okay, got it. arrive. This will be our slogan. Arrive, camera ready. Uh, not that. Arrive, or don't ever arrive. Oh, I like it. Right? Okay, arrive That's or don't ever slogan. arrive. So just showing up is kind of like ninety nine percent of the battle. That is when it eight. comes to cults. Maybe hundred. percent Same thing with brunch. I guess. You, know, you ever true. be? You ever be? This sounds like a stand-up uh, bit. You ever be in your house and uh, you're like, should I go to brunch? And then it's just like, nah, I'm just going to stay here. This bit is not working out, is it? Well, you started off with terrible grammar, and then from there, it wasn't funny. And then from there, here we are. <laughs> okay. Well, I've arrived at least. Yes. Um, all right. We need to come up on a break, but uh, Wahada, are you guys ready to, to play something here? Uh, yeah, I and this so. is going to be from your. Uh, this is a live version of uh, tapping on the mic. There, this is a live version of uh, a song from your new record, "Casual High Technology." Is that correct? That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What track is this? Let me come to your party. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me come to your party. Yeah. <laughs> this is more like a, a demand <laughs> than than uh, you know how some songs are questions. You know yeah. how some songs be questions. Yeah. That, I'm yeah, trying to use the how, grammar of my yeah, standard yeah, bit. Or, yeah. How they be. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You know, like, uh, can I come in through your bathroom window? What is that song that I'm thinking of? Uh, can I come in through your bathroom window? Is that you too? Yeah, the I think it is. Stalker? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it was Richard Ramirez, The Night yes. Stalker. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is Let Me Come to Your Party, Wahada. The album Casual High Technology is out now. Uh, hit it, boys. Um, pao, fu, se. Um, pao, fu, se. Um pau fuse. Um pau fuse. Um pau fuse. Let me call this out. What's your one on some day? Um pau fuse. I wanna tell you it's good man. I could have told you that. Um pau fuse. I wanna tell you something. Do you wanna listen to that? Um pau fuse. I wanna tell you that this is. Let me come to your party. 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 Let me come
to your party. Let me come to your party. Let me come to your party. Let me show you how it's done. Let me come to your party. 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 Let me how it's all about. <laughs> This one's just for you. Yeah. Yeah. I think you No, the one, what? No, this one. This one's coming out. Yeah. Yeah, it's just true. It's all for Scott. All for Ock. Thank you. 
From casual high technology, we will be right back with more comedy bang bang after this. <laughs> honk shoo, honk shoo. You know, snoring <laughs> happens when you sleep. There is no disputing it. That is the that's prime time for snoring. If you know someone who snores, I would guess that ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time they do it when they sleep. And no other time. (laughs) Occasionally, when they're just watching TV and you hear... (sighs) Anyway, why am I talking about snoring? Because I want to talk to you about the place you snore, and that's in bed. And no, that wasn't a fortune cookie. The place you snore, and that is... And then I added in bed to it. No, I'm talking about beds because I'm talking about the thing that you sleep upon in bed, and that is the mattress. That's right. I got there. And Lisa mattresses are the best in the biz. Driven by the mission to provide, and I'm quoting, a better place to sleep for everybody, unquote, end quote. What is Lisa? Lisa is an innovative direct-to-consumer online mattress brand. And get this, they are also socially conscious. In fact, for every 10 mattresses that Lisa sells, what do they do? Pocket the money? Well, sure, they do that. But then they also donate one mattress to a shelter through their 110 program. And they're forced to do this by the constructs of the 110 program that they have initiated. They can't get away. With, with not giving away that mattress the minute they sell their 10th. They force themselves. They also plant a tree for every mattress that they sell, and they donate 1% of each empl- employee's time to volunteer for local causes. Not to mention, with a patented universal adaptive feel, Lisa is designed for types of sleepers of all types. Snorers, non-snorers, all of them. And they, each of these mattresses features three premium foam layers. Let's run them down. Two-inch Avena foam top layer for cooling and breathability. Two-inch memory foam middle layer for body contouring and pressure relief. Six-inch dense core support foam for durability and structure, which works for sleepers of all sizes. That's right. Ten full inches of foam. That's what you want. And now Lisa's continuing. continuing. Right now Lisa's continuing which is great, but they're also continuing to expand its offerings. And uh, so here's what they have now. The Lisa pillow, awesome. The Lisa blanket, even better. The Lisa foundation, hey, you need one of those. And the Lisa frame. No wonder it's a Forbes top 20 startup to watch. No wonder, no wonder. I know what you're saying. There's no way I'll ever be able to try out a Lisa mattress. No, 
Here's my instructions. Try a Lisa mattress in your own home for 100 nights even. Totally risk-free. This is available in the U.S., the U.K., the Canada, and the Germany online with free shipping. This 100% American-made mattress ships compressed in a box right to your door. You open up the box and boing, 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 there's a mattress. Or you can try it at the Lisa Dream Gallery in Soho, NYC, and Virginia Beach, and over 80 West Elm stores nationwide. Get $125 off and a free pillow. When you go to lisa.com slash bang bang, that is L E E S A dot com slash bang bang. <laughs> Red Rover, Red Rover, send rover.com right over. Rover, woof woof. What if I did this ad just in dog language? Arf, 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 woof, woof, woof. <laughs> That's a fanciful notion, isn't it? It made me smile. And I'm not going to apologize for that. And I would fight for your freedom. To say whatever you want that makes you smile for, for your right to do that to the death. I would fight for that right. That's how important it is to me. So I'm glad that you allowed me to do it. I want to talk about Rover.com. All right. Rover.com could be anything when you hear those words put together. Rover.com? In that, I mean, if you take them out of order, dot Rover.com? Com Rover dot? Who knows? You know, it could be anything. It's like gibberish. It's basically Rover.com is gibberish until you find out that what it what that what those letters and those words connect to is incredible it is the largest network of five star pet care in north america whoa rover.com doesn't sound like gibberish anymore does it uh-huh <laughs> what rover.com does is it connects dog owners with trusted pet care. Right, yeah, from home dog boarding and pet sitting to walking and daycare, whatever you need. If you're a dog owner, they're going to connect you with all that stuff whenever you need it because your dog deserves the best. And with Rover, only 20% of sitters who begin their profiles are ultimately accepted. And what I like about that statistic is when I think about the four out of five people who apply to be sitters on Rover that then get letters that turn them down and they're sad faces. And that, that makes me laugh. (laughs) They're cruel. They're, they're cruel, cruel people, but that's what it takes to get only the best for your dog. Better yet, you can opt for free in-person interviews or read verified reviews. And you can even Browse photos of the sitter's home, pets, and past stays to find the perfect match for your dog. And with Rover's easy-to-use iOS and Android app, you can search, book, favorite, pay, all in just one convenient place, that app that I was talking about. You can even receive photos, maps of your dog's walk, custom updates. They'll send all of that stuff to you. Above all, Rover lets you rest easy. And that's what I like to think that you'll be doing is you'll be taking a nap while all this happens. (laughs) You can rest while someone is with your dog. (laughs) You can rest easy knowing that every booking is backed by insurance, a reservation guarantee, and 24-7 access to pet care professionals. I've used it. You know I have two dogs. I have Georgia, I have Molly. They come over to the house. First, I thought it was a uh, kidnapping situation, but for dogs. I guess you would call that dog napping. And then I realized I'd set it up on that app. And I I, I called the police back and I was like, "Eh, eh, eh, no, nothing nothing weird going on. It's just Rover.com. It was a big thing. But um, it's incredible. And for you to use it for $25 off your first booking, All you have to do is visit rover.com slash CBB, all right? That's comedy bang bang, CBB, rover.com slash CBB. Use the promo code CBB during checkout. That's rover.com slash CBB. Use the promo code CBB. You're going to get $25 off your first booking. And that, my friends, is not rough. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here. Uh, of course, we have Reggie Watts and John Tejada, uh, aka Wahada. Uh, we also have Ming. 
I um, enjoy the song a lot. I like it. No one asked you. I didn't say you asked me. Did I, I say, say tweet hey, them. Sent you asked? Did I say I just said tweet them? Asked? I enjoyed it though. I did want to say that. Now you, Shh, now you guys. Copycat. That was three songs. It was yeah. in a row, actually. Yeah, we. Yeah. When I said prepare three songs, you said let's put them all together. But Should that was so. That was an extra long. But you still have one at the, that you're going to play at the end of the show. Is that right? Yes. This Thanks is exciting. So that's so when you're listening to the record, that's three separate album tracks that you guys put into a mix. Yeah. Like it was like a dance club in here. I, yeah. I felt yeah. like the Molly was kicking in. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. When I say Molly, I mean my dog Molly. Yeah. Um, she kicks me at night. But hello, I. Uh, hello. I. I I'm sorry. Sorry, we're recording in here, ma'am. So uh, sorry. Um, I feel you don't recognize me, Margaret. Your upstairs neighbor. Oh, do you? You live upstairs? Yes. Wait, not from my house. You mean upstairs here from, from the, the studio? studio? Oh, you live upstairs? Yes, yes. Marguerite, no, I've never met you before. Okay. I, why would I recognize you? I've never met you before. Because we frequent Ming, do you building? recognize this person? I don't know you. Don't try to tell me. I know you. I don't. Oh, I would not want to. Ming's very hard line on people trying to tell him that I they know him. So. never to tell anybody. Reggie, do you, Reggie, John, do you know no, Marguerite? No. No? No one knows you, ma'am. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm okay. So, no, I'm we're, record, so, we're in the middle of a show. I am so sorry, but um, I am having an emergency. I don't want oh. to impose, but it oh. is... Okay, you're have, uh, can we help? Um, I mean, we can my, pause the show here for a second. You, you my have... home, which is above, mm-hmm. is on fire. On fire? It's Wait, on the fire. building is on fire? Well, it's, it's right now confined to my home. Um, Don't and make I... it about you, Scott. Wait, yes. isn't one one man's floor another man's ceiling when it comes to that uh, is poetry, a building like and this? and I love that. But it's true. It has been going on for four hours. Four hours? Yes. But and I try to contain it myself. I'm an independent woman, but um, at this point, it's out of my hands, and I don't want to impose. But I fear it will spread to you and burn us all. Wait, do you have any fire equipment? Ming, this might be an opportunity fire for equipment. you. Fire oh, equipment. I have. An... I have matches. No, I no have not to cause a wood. fire. No, to put out a fire, not to make um, a fire. I what have if... waters running through the pipes. I don't. Wait, I'm... waters running through the pipes. Have you taken it out of the pipes, i.e., through a faucet and and thrown it onto the fire? It's hard to throw water. Do you have... Oh, man. Get true. a glass? Get a bucket? Look, my, uh, my name is Marguerite Shoes. <laughs> okay, we did, okay, we didn't know your last name. I'll give you that. You, shoes. Marguerite Shoes? Yeah, shoes. S-H-O-E-S? Shoes. 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 You can keep pronouncing it however you like. I'm just trying to ascertain the spelling. I don't. It is kind of a fluid name where oh, I how I spell it could be maybe different from how you spell it. Got it, got it, got it. Um, but I... I, I guess I, I was wondering how you spell it, but go ahead. Okay. Um, it's just this is a huge disaster, but I don't want to impose, so I'm just what letting you, you know. What do you need from us? Well, I'm. Can I, I call nine hundred and eleven? No. Um. What is that? Is that an emergency? An emergency I moved line, here yes. recently. So where all are you of from? Our, I am from Texas, <laughs> and it I seems I heard very that. different here. <laughs> uh, this Los Angeles, um, and so I just don't fully know how to handle this situation. And I will say, I have two cats, and I think they are dead. Uh, oh, that's no. terrible. Did they are they terrible. did they burn or was this no, a previous accident? No, no, they were accident? dying of something else, but oh. it happened while the fire happened. Natural causes? Right. Yes. Mysterious. Of glaucoma. Did you know you can die from glaucoma if you're a cat? I think you can die from oh. anything if you're a cat. Really? Yeah. I guess that's I've always said true. that. Yes. Reggie, you you know what I mean by that, right? Yeah, yeah, I remember when we first discovered that. Yeah. <laughs> We were like, look at this cat. Is, he, he can die from anything. God, this, yeah, it's amazing. Do so this, he can die. Do yeah. this, he can die. Incredible. Um, well, I'm sorry to hear about your cats, ma'am, but um, I would suggest getting uh, the fire department here, or, or how can we help? We, you want help putting out the fire? Well, I will say I heard the jams. I heard the music, and I will say that— put, I, It's very loud, it, yeah. It allowed me to calm down oh. um, because I was so nervous, and so maybe I feel like if I'm going to go back there, independent woman, handle this fire, I need to be in the right frame of mind. Okay. I don't think so. I don't think it's a good idea for the music to calm you down during the emergency. Well, I think let's hear it out. I mean, after the emergency. Let's hear it out. Do you want to be put into a right frame of mind? How can we help do that? Um, well, I, I'm just spitballing here, you know? Um, because you know screenwriting feel, terms. Uh, uh, is that particular to screenwriting? I think it might be. Oh. Well, don't put the hat on the hat right now. <laughs> Look, speaking I of save do. the cat, <laughs> I think yours are already gone. Yes, you see, you know what? I do know that one because I dated a man who was always saying, I'm writing a screenplay. Oh. He never showed it to me, but he always had that book. He had The Writer's Journey. Oh, okay, yeah. He Story by Story Robert McKee. Story by Robert McKee. Yeah. Yeah, the Artist's Way. He, yeah. The Artist's Way. Julia this sounds Cameron. like he, and you say he was right. He, he, yes, he never say, showed me. He never showed you. This sounds like an excuse to get out of the house. Yes. Uh, well, at the time, the what? house 
was on fire. Wait, Wait this is so me. we've had lots of fires. Really? Yes, we, I have this in quotes. Uh, yeah. What? You I, okay? You are very suspicious right now. I'm sorry. Man, you're not. You're not in Spectre Clouseau Multiple here. Multiple fires. We, we need. We we want to be a are help. Are you ex- uh, uh, accusing me of our son? Of uh, of our son. our male child? No. Do we have a male child? No. I am not accusing you of anything. I am telling you something sounds suspicious. You always having a fire. And if no one else it thinks is, this, no, then you are crazy I people. Will, no, I will own up to my life has been cursed by fires. Mm. I, it seems throughout my life, fires just follow me. What's the first fire you can remember? When I was four. Oh. Okay. I rolled as a little baby. I was very late to walking. I did not walk till I was five. So I did really? a lot of That's rolling and really crawling. Late. At least you were. Able to roll. Yeah, you know uh, that is like one doing of the somersaults? first. No, like uh, roll over. Sideways roll. Yes, like yes. a baby. One oh, of the okay. first things a pediatrician goes is, "Can this baby roll?" Right, almost I, like uh, the titular Jack and Jill. Roll down the hill. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. And they, they, so, and so I, as a four-year-old, rolled into a fireplace. <laughs> Oh, no. Was it on? Was it downhill? It was on. No, I was just, because I did not walk, rolling was A lot of people, when you're designing a house, you got to keep those fireplaces, like, up, hey. up a the slant. Top of the up. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yes, traditionally. But we true. lived top on level ground, but mm. I rolled into it. Okay. And I got all crispy on the outside. Is that what you call terrible burns? Crispy? I, it is, because it is my way of reframing it, reclaiming it. It was a positive. first degree, second degree, third degree? It was. Um, the burns? Uh, it kind of had like an ombre effect, if oh, you know. Oh, yes, like, sure. Uh, like on Trading Spaces a few weeks ago? <laughs> sure, sure. Or also just like the hairstyle I had in 2011. What am I talking about? The ombre! Uh, <laughs> anyway. When is the next fire after age four? After age four, there was another one at age nine. Mm. Did you cause this one too? I, I, first of all, I, I did not cause to roll into a fire. Oh, no, you're right. The gentle, invisible hand of God rolled you into Ooh, the fire. This person, so, uh, like... I, you see, you see throwing, where I'm coming from. Throwing I mean, all the shit. This is my neighbor, and Ming, this is how you treat her? Let's be neighborly. Why you? Oh, you act like, oh, this is my neighbor. I saw you find out, okay? You don't have a history with this person that I am in getting We have the into. same amount of history, but, but she and I share, um, you know... A, a property line for now Ming yeah. Ming because Ming I feel <laughs> like silly. what you're saying at times is accurate but it's there's such an undercurrent of aggression yeah. that I'm wondering what is this to be um, defending against it's mm-hmm. the, if there is aggression it's, it's because I'm the faucet and Scott Alkerman is the uh, waterway that feeds the faucet it's just she comes. doesn't know what you're talking. She doesn't you even know how him. to get the water you out of the pipes. You make me feel terrible, and then sometimes I accidentally make other people feel terrible. Do you want to apologize That's to our guest? Fault. No, I, I would like to pass your apology. I'm not apologizing because this is your issue. Ming, you're, you're so unpleasant. Um, but why does he make you so mad? Well, you know what? Let's not get into this. Let's, when you realize, oh, I just saw Scott Ackerman. <laughs> you, this thing happened. Like, Have you ever had the moment where you're like, I think I have allergies, and then you realize, oh, no, I'm sick. That moment is when no, you run into I want to bring happy. I want to bring happiness to everyone that I come into contact That's with. That's the moment. Your okay. stomach goes, oh, no. So, so at nine years old, another years fire. Old. Yes. I was going to, I was really on the birthday party circuit as a nine-year-old often is. Excellent. As an invitee? Yes. Everybody was inviting me. Ming doesn't like to celebrate them. Oh, are you a Jehovah's no, Witness? I do. You listen and remember in your life, okay? I like the birth's birthday, not the Easter. I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. Because mm-hmm. uh, they don't celebrate they, they, it's they not don't. crazy for me to think. They mm-hmm. also travel. I bet they by hate Billy Crystal seven hundred Sundays. Trespass a lot. <laughs> Why? So a Sunday is not a mm. holiday. Go ahead with uh, so your second nine, fire. So at nine, I had this cool trick where I would <laughs> stop interrupting. Sorry. Um, cool I had trick. This, yes, this cool trick. Has anyone ever told you you look like Michael J. Fox? That's excellent. <laughs> Forever youthful. Like currently. Yeah. No, that's fine. That's, a, that's <laughs> a, always a compliment because he looks young forever, so that's yes, great. Yes, he does. He's one of Thank those people you. who looks young for his age regardless of age. That's yeah, but so. you're considerably younger and you look like him now. Okay, Scott, you look like Vincent Price, okay? How about that? Wait, what era? Any era. He When he was born, he looked like 80. 
Oh, that is true. Also, like Angela Lansbury. Always Scott looks, looks old, like yeah. Angela Lansbury. Do you believe young? in murder she wrote? She looked like the oldest woman alive. Right. She and was she 26. Was, what? No. No. Yeah. What? You finally said I something I love this fact. It's so, uh, mind. my mind is blown. Hit, hit us with that second fire. Okay, so the second fire, my cool party trick was, when you have a birthday cake and people light all the candles, I would take all the candles and smoosh them together mm. to create a super flame so the wish that the child wishes is bigger, but also mm. it created a fire. I Normally, they keep that process uh, away from the public eye. They usually set those candles in the kitchen or something, yes. and then they reveal them. Yes. You were I, there fr from I the- I went. Uh, I said, hey, you're the mom of this child. I will go to you and show you a cool trick. And the mom was like, you seem like you really know what you're doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know. I love a nine-year-old who has a controversial idea and follows through. I think if you just walk into a room and you say you know what you're doing, you just act like you own the place. People yep. usually go along with it. So uh, I don't. I don't blame the, the parent in this nope. in this case. I don't know. I worry that this one will. Mm. Get to you guys. Yeah, well, well what, have you done anything to contain it? Um, I put a bunch of um, newspaper around oh, no. all no of good. it. No good, no good. No, it's very dry. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's it's the... Not a good barrier. Yeah, it's good. Have you heard of the word kindling? Um, uh, yes, that was there. When I grew up in Texas, there was a boy named Kindling. <laughs> okay, not the same thing. Interesting. Okay. Whatever happened to him, by the way? Did you ever keep track of him? Or you ever he, see him on Facebook or anything he like that? He became a divorce lawyer. Oh, uh, a divorced uh, lawyer? or. No, I, Maybe. I don't know about his personal life, but a mm, divorce it's complicated. lawyer. That's one yeah, way to end up on a bus billboard. Become a divorce lawyer. Yeah. And that's I mean if you want if you have aspirations to end up on a on a on the back of a bus. That's what you want. Or you do like insurance or something. Yes. yes. Like those are the two things. Personal like what that's would be your goal. funny if you put on a bus that is not normally on a bus, like like product. Like how about an ad oh. for the bus? Like right on this bus. Yes. And that's, yes, that's just a good. slightly, you know, nine to ten scale of the bus that you're There's actually looking like, at. There's also like always like like Dr. Zismore. Do you guys remember no, him? I don't know. I don't what know. That is. I Dr. Zismore. Z. Do you know maybe that he's an East Coast thing? Because I also East spent Coast. some time. He made you have beautiful clear skin. Remember? Yeah, he's a, su <laughs> he's a subway doctor. Subway doctor. He also had commercials. And, um, he operated out of a, a subway a restaurant? or he Chemical like Peels. <laughs> okay. Seemed like it. Hmm. Seemed interesting. Like wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. What a great name, Dr. Zismore. Zismore. <laughs> um, so you've put down dry newspapers. That's no good. Yes, Anything yes, else? yes, yes. Um, I, it's, um, this is going to sound crazy. Some gasoline. <laughs> okay. Well, you see, you knowing that it sounds crazy tells me but that you- I was you, kind of trying to like reverse psychology the fire. Well, it's like, liquid. Oh, oh okay. so obvious. Gasoline. Sometimes the most obvious Don't answer is- Don't be so thirsty, fire. It. Oh, this may be a good idea. If you put a tray of gasoline out of your house, you will lead it away. Lead the fire Yeah, like, away. no, no, no. Yeah, yes. get out of my house. Just come come yes. this way. Come it's this like way. It's like when you have a fly and you turn off the lights and you put lights farther, yeah. you know, oh, like yeah. to lead the fly away. How Our did this work yeah. out for you? Well, the fire is still going, okay. but it could yeah. have at this point have moved. Yeah, okay. Maybe this is the way. What else should I put to, to lure out the fire? Well, I, you know, I personally would maybe call a professional in this uh, situation. Have you ever tried that in any of your and previous real fires? do it yourself -er. Yeah. <laughs> DIY or? DIY. I do Pinterest, you know, and that's about <laughs> Etsy. You listen to Fugazi. Yeah. What he he what he, he said? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you keep your tickets uh, low at about ten dollars. <laughs> sure. Uh huh. So so uh, what what kind of Pinterest do you have? What do you have up there? I have a Pinterest of how of me, little oven mitts. Wow, uh, that that exist already I mean, or that you make? Yes, I make. Th what do you mean they exist and I make them? What are you talking about? I'm meaning there are products one can buy instead of you actually knitting them. Is what I mean. Oh, I'm I. They are a product that you can buy that I knit. I okay, but like you also you make them? Her. You How am I I'm just I asking for clarification? For Reggie, you got to back me up on this. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can. Oh, I, mean, I, I make them to be sold. Woman. It's a you know. It's, you sell them. I sell them. Okay. And they're cool oven mitts. And what's funny about them is they have private parts on them. <laughs> Oh, no, don't get him talking about his yes, penis. Yes, it's like, you know how the thumb? Yeah, the thumb. It's like a little penis. And it's oh, funny because okay. when you go to get your brownies or whatever, it looks like there's <laughs> It looks like you're fucking your brownies. It. Yes, yes. And then there's pubic hair. On the oh, big part of the no. bit? Yes, it's, you know, it's not like, uh, it's like. So it's like, I'm holding out. I'm holding out my hand like, what is, what state is this again? Montana or whatever? What is it? What is Florida? It? 
No, not Florida. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, the, not the droopy dong of the U.S. You <laughs> know, you hold up your Michigan. head. That is most Michigan. State. Michigan. Michigan. Thank you, John. Okay. So I'm holding my hand up like Michigan. <laughs> so you're saying the penis would be on the thumb yes. and pu- massive pubes <laughs> are on? I don't said massive. I just said it's like the whole pelvic region up to the top, right. there's a navel. So it's like profile of, of exactly. a guy of exactly. a guy who's like half-mast. Yes, yes. So and it's t- funny to me. And then there's one that's, this is really crazy. There's one that's a clitoris. <laughs> Where this is the clitoris. For a very Where what is the, the thumb? The, oh, just the thumb. You know, okay. if it's a per, some women are more developed that way. Yeah. So you took the most, the not very appealing image of a penis, and then you add the. I think it's very appealing. But what do you have against penises? You have one, don't you? Yes, I, I have. I don't. One. I don't want to presume. Yes, I have one. Okay. Right. Have you ever looked Are at you it? Happy now. Did you have you taken a small hand mirror to it? You're always supposed to take small hand mirrors to your genitals. No, to know I it, to look need. at it. Also, your butthole. You only. Why is that? You only because you don't want to get something like massive and gaping, like the idea that. What What are you saying? <laughs> no. What do you mean, small hand mirrors? Everyone says this is said much more to women, but that you know because women's genitals are more tucked in. Sure. That a woman Sometimes. should look, mm-hmm. and so you take a small. They're like hand an inside out sweater. And what? <laughs> what did you say? I said they're like an inside out sweater. What is that? Uh, like a woman's genitals. They're like tucked. Who, in. What kind of? No. It's like you know how when you I think of anything, when you're like, like oh, I haven't worn this sweater. Chill. I haven't worn this sweater in like a month. Oh wow, when I took it off, it's inside out, and the sleeve. I got to pull the sleeve out. Wow, that is. Um, that is, you hate women. <laughs> what? Oh, no. yes. I love women. I love their inside no, out no, sweaters. No, no. <laughs> I feel attacked on behalf of all womankind. No, no, no. Look, we have to take a break. Okay. I don't mean to attack anyone. Let's end on that note. No, no we don't have to end. We're going to come right back. Uh, when we come back, we'll have more from Marguerite Shoes, more from Ming, and more from Wahada, of course, and another song coming up in our next segment. We'll be right back after this. Comedy Bang Bang. <laughs> <laughs> the Post Office, a wonderful place. I love it. Never going to say anything negative about them, nor have I ever, by the way. I dare anyone to find any tape of me ever saying anything negative about the post office. I love it. It's, it's crazy. I've talked about it before. Here's what you do. You write something down on a piece of paper. You get a different piece of paper that's, like, folded up into a, into a shape. You put that piece of paper into that other piece of paper, and then you lick the second piece of paper— And then you go outside your house and put it in a magic box. And then a few days later, someone opens up the second piece of paper because it arrives in that uh, their magic box. They open up the second piece of paper and they read the first piece of paper. It's incredible. It's incredible. And how much does this cost? Thousands of dollars to make this magic happen? To make make several human beings achieve this for you? No. How much does it? I don't even know how much does it cost. How much is it these days? (laughs) 35 cents, 50 cents, who even knows, but it's under a dollar, I do know that. It's incredible. But the only the only issue about the whole thing is you know, why can't I do it at home? Why can't I do it at home? Why do I have to go to the post office? Love the post office would never say anything negative about it, but why do I have to go there? That's the only downside of the post office is that is li- it is literally not inside your house. Well, Now, Stamps.com brings all of the amazing services of the U.S. Postal Service to your house. By the way, 49 cents, under a 50-cent piece. If you go to the post office, I'm not suggesting you do that because I think you should get Stamps.com. But if you flip them, uh, like if like if you're Two Face in the Batman movies, and you flip them a fifty cent piece, and they get the scarred side, they go, "Oh no, what's Two Face going to do to me?" They are forced to, by law, give you a penny back along with your stamp. That's a long way to go for what I'm trying to say, but what I'm trying to say is if you want to do all of that at home and just flip around that 50-cent piece in the privacy of your own kitchen, just simply create your Stamps.com account in minutes online on your own computer. Then you can buy, print, U.S. postage of the official variety, by the way. This isn't just like, hey, Stamps.com wants to sell you stamps, and then you put it on your envelope and joke's on you, the Post office carriers like, what is this? No, this is official U.S. postage for any letter, any package, any class of mail, from postcards and envelopes to packages, domestic to international, all whatever you want, all using your own computer and printer. It's just you click it, 
You print it, you mail it, you're done. A click it, print it, mail it, you're done situation. Stamps.com makes it easy. They will even, in fact, send you a digital scale, which you put your mail on it, it automatically calculates the exact postage you need for that particular thing. It's incredible. No need to lease expensive postage meters. No long-term commitments. Stamps.com has been around... I feel like as long as I've been alive, I've been using it. But I think uh, they've been one of our oldest, oldest sponsors. So we've used them here at Earwolf for years and years. And right now, you too can enjoy the Stamps.com service with a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus postage and that digital scale I was talking about. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, all right, and then type in bang, bang. That's Stamps.com. Click on that microphone at the top of the homepage, enter, bang, bang. You're going to get a four-week trial plus postage and a digital scale. Thank you, post office, but more so, thank you, (laughs) stamps.com. Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here. We have Reggie Watts, our old friend here. And uh, how are you enjoying being back here, Reggie? Uh, Yeah. It's like you never uh, left, right? uh, Did you? You did leave, right? Uh. uh, Oh. <laughs> I can't remember. It's like, uh, so, you know what I mean? Well, I mean. Just, <laughs> it's know, true. So true. I, yeah. No, yeah. that's a good point. I'm still you know not saying? over the inside out sweater uh, that you're I, calling look, women's pussies. Come, Marguerite, we're over that already. <laughs> we are not. Uh, we also have John Tejada here. Uh, collectively, the, uh, he and Reggie are known as Wahada. Uh, the album Casual High Technology in stores now. We also have Ming. Everybody be careful of backdraft. There is still a situation near us. Yeah, should we, before we leave, we should really be we we need to touch the doorknobs with a uh, towel first. We don't want to burn our hands. But yes, don't, so you don't burn your hand. But then if it's a towel, then you then don't how do you know, know if it's, it's hot? hot. Yeah, worry, that's the I, real problem. Don't worry, I took a bunch of hairspray, sprayed it all around. No, <laughs> oh, no, no, and that will create a force field, so the fire <laughs> no, cannot please. get through. No, you clearly no. have a Texas public school education. So I don't know what to do about this fire situation. I mean, you know, I feel like it's going to come down here at some point. No heat rises. That's a good point. I don't know. Yeah, the heat cannot. It is Physically, it cannot go, go, down. go down. It will Look, never go down. Who has had six fires in their life? Me. Who has survived them all? I think I know a thing or two. Okay, so this is the sixth. We've heard yes. about the first and second. Do you yes. want to run through three, four, five? Okay, real quick. Yeah. Uh, three, four, five, it was basically a trilogy of fires. Oh, wow. Um, like Lord of the Rings? Yes, yes. They each happened on um, the 4th of July. Whoa. But they were not firework related. It's, you think it was? Mm-hmm. It wasn't. Well, it's a very dry month. That's why it's very the 4th dry. of July is just poor planning. Yes. When it comes I, to the whole fireworks situation. Right. It's like, let's have this, you know, in the, the wet weather, you know, November. <laughs> Or something. Me, I was True. trying to make a super hamburger. It was a hamburger, hamburger. made of just so many, many patties. And, How many um, patties are we like talking? Like 12. 12 patties? 12 like quarter pounds yes, regulation patties? Yes, that I mashed patties. together and then they caught flame and they fell out of the barbecue and it just sort of wreaked havoc everywhere. But the thing that was <laughs> cool was... So like an <laughs> Indiana Jones like boulder yes, style? Yes, it, it, it started to pick up like sod that's and like, like gravel. A, that's uh, Indiana Jones boulder. That's like a woman's clitoris, I think. <laughs> I hate your ways of talking about women. You see, a fire, she can deal with so many fires in her life, but she cannot deal with the inside of your mind. <laughs> yeah, Boom, my I mind is on meaning. fire. Wait, you like it now? You, yeah. were, you yeah. felt attacked by him earlier. But I understand that it's about you. Okay. He's not mad at me. Wait, see? can I ask you a question? You made this exact same super burger all three fourths of <laughs> July? I felt like, this burger is not going to best me. <laughs> And you know what? The fourth year, it didn't. It Stick did. You finally it. made it. How did I it taste? I finally made it. It tasted like garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was it like really frozen in the middle? I can, it would be so hard to cook something that big. It was. It's the, you need the right... If, if the radius of your burger is too big, mm. there's just no way... Because you can get like the black and blue in the middle or whatever, and mm-hmm. then it medium... Not even medium well. Well, on the out. You I think I saying. think this I'm line of question is boring. Meat terms. I think it's really exciting. Did you say midterms or meat terms? M- meat terms. Meat terms. Are you fucking stupid? It's very easy. You to have the accent. Uh, okay, stop being so like xenophobic <laughs> or American normative. Look, just because I don't Ooh. like Ming, whatever he is, <laughs> doesn't mean that... I'm from Sherman Oaks. <laughs> okay, look, and, I'm and from so Texas. is John Tejada. He's from Sherman Oaks too. So if you okay. don't like me, you don't like him. <laughs> 
I like John. So you like me. <laughs> I just, well, I wouldn't the go it's the transverse or something, or the associative or commu- some math term relates to what we are talking about. I agree. Mm, the transitive property. Transitive. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, weird moment there. <laughs> weird moment there. So anyway, this fire is going on, and uh, it's contained by hairspray and dry newspaper and gasoline. Did you say that you had a boyfriend or something like that that you live with? What was it in the one of the last fires you mentioned? You were living with someone, didn't you? Am no, I... well, weird way to get my number. <laughs> <I'm> not... <laughs> he is very known for this going up cool. to <laughs> victims who just ex- had a tragedy and then, then try to mind his... fuck them into yeah, going out with him. I have gaslighted That's by these yes. before. Hey, what would your yes. boyfriend think about uh, your mother just dying? Whoa. Oh, okay. hey, sad funeral you're anyway. A, you're a fucking clit hater. <laughs> I'm a clit lover. I'm a clit no, lover. Your, your top three things are like what? You're being touched your penis. You didn't say I love to touch clits. Right. I, I, sure, but I mean, you know, I, that comes secondary too, I think. Ah! See. <laughs> wow, she, you're the problem, okay? That what? should be on Do your you, t-shirt you, at all times. Scarlet letter. Are you dissatisfied sexually? Is that? No. You're, you're, everything's good in that Everything regard. Everything is on Fire. <laughs> okay, you winked when you said that. Like Because it fits with the moment, because mm. there's a fire above us. What is your dating situation? This I, is purely out I of... I am in a, um, a, what's it called? A, um, a relationship? Mutual triad. Mutual triad. Mutual so triad. three people. Three people of, we're all, it's a girl and a guy and then another guy. And You're the me. girl. <laughs> I'm the girl. And two guys. And we are all, they're my boyfriends and they're each other's boyfriends. And, and that's then how it goes. each one is your boyfriend as well. Yes. They're, it's just a relationship. Okay. And how did you, how did you luck into that? Um, well, they're, you're, you're going to judge this. They're I twins. Won't. They're twins. Oh, no. Ooh, wow. Uh-oh. Fraternal or? Yes. Oh, Hopefully step wow. twins, no? No? How do you be step twins? <laughs> I just hope there's a way for you. I guess if you, if you like, your dad married some woman who had a, who had a guy who looked same. just like you. Or right? he, no, yes, who, maybe. Who was born on the exact, your exact I birthday? I think there's a couple yeah, ways. Exactly. It's like your dad impregnates two women on the same day. They yes. give birth on the same day. That's yes. the dream. You know, that is the dream. That is the dream. And then, um, or maybe it's like twin dads fuck the same woman. There you yes. Go. <laughs> and then you don't know which spermy was from whom, and twins come out of but it. But then they are st- technically yeah, like cousins. This is a problem. Well, this is your relationship. That's you tell better us. Better than what you got going. We've only been. We haven't been dating that long for me to know their whole biological. How long backstory. have you been dating? Two months. That's long enough to know something about like how Whoa, they're related. I don't move that fast. Okay. Ask, you can just ask people about their family tree and like what. Hmm. What's your family like? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, anything sounds stupid when you put a voice like that on it. Yeah, have you noticed that? Like when people like say, like, so then the person asks me, "What's your family like?" Yeah, it sounds stupid because you're putting <laughs> that stupid voice on it. But if you were to say, someone asked me, "Hey, what's your family like?" Sounds good. Yes, but then the reverse is true, that if you say it the way you just said it, anything sounds good. Like, you could say, like, you know what? You could go fuck yourself, <laughs> right? Then that sounds like, like, what a fun thing thinking. to do. I don't he know. He gets it. Okay, I don't know. Look, I I feel like the the building is going to be ablaze a here. It's or fine. Or at least the top half I of the building. I was just lightly trying to, like, whisper to you, like, there's a fire. I got under control. Okay, why did you come down here anyway? What do you need from us? To tell you that if Just it's a little tell. hot and stinky, Info. it's because... Stinky? <laughs> yes. Fires Anybody don't knows good. that hour four of a fire is stinky as hell. Listen, <laughs> hour four? Hour four, ooh. All right, look, we're running out of time, guys. We just have one last thing to do on the show, and that is a little something called plugs. Ah. Hey, Scott. Let me know what's going on with the horse blood. Let me know what's going on with the horse blood. Let me know what's going on with the horse blood. Let me know what's going on with the horse blood. Nice. That was 80s dream theme by Lost and Found. 
Reggie, that kind of sounded like you. Uh, no, I was I was tripping out. I was like, I was tripping. I was like, did Reggie record did, a that, plugs theme yeah, and send it to us? But what, no, what happened? Yeah, that was what crazy. Happened? Good one. Uh, lost and found. If you have a plug theme, send it on over to the Earwolf message boards in the appropriate thread, and you can get played on this show. All right, what are we plugging? Uh, obviously, John and Reggie. The album is Wahata W A J A T T A, and the album is called Casual High Technology in stores now. That's right. And uh, do you have any live dates that you're playing? Yeah, we're playing the Teragram Ballroom. On, in Los Angeles? Yeah, that's in L.A. on May 23rd. May 23rd. And that's a good time uh, out at the theater, right? It should be, yes. Yeah. Confirmed. It's, uh, it's all theater. Mm -hmm. All good stuff. Experimental theater. A lot of stage hands wearing black and yeah, multimedia. moving things around. Yeah. yeah. Rear projection, projection mapping. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holographic mists. Yeah. Sideways projection. No, we're doing, not doing that. Just anymore. all rear. All rear. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always Exit better. only. Always better in the rear. <laughs> okay. And uh, where do you how – do, how do you think people should listen to the record? Should they buy it full price? Should they stream it? What I mean, what do, what do you guys think? Should they buy it half price? Yeah. What That's if if they I get a deal? Could try. There, there will be double vinyl. I, I prefer that idea. Double vinyl is yeah. what you prefer? That's a good idea. And, and, and so then uh, – so the album then is broken up into four sections? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah. Yeah, you make the most technologically but advanced music <laughs> on the technologically advanced instruments, and then you put it on a vinyl. Oh, the irony. Uh, well, that's not. This is a long conversation. Yeah, yeah, it's a really long con. <laughs> Let's have it. But I mean, it's a di they're more digital podcast, albums. More podcast, more <laughs> podcast. Yeah, people, people are dying to that's hear more. People, you know what? If you're driving to work, turn right around. We've got more <laughs> podcasts. Yeah, go back home and then go to work yeah. again. Because they're like, more. you forgot your keys. Yes. <laughs> to your car. Fun joke for you. Um, all right, uh, that's great. Uh, uh, I can't wait to hear the whole thing. Hopefully, uh, I can. Uh, you know, uh, I don't want a free one. I want to. I want to buy it. All Holy right. crap! All right. If you would offer me a free one, I would turn it down. Wow, that's crazy. Were well, you going to offer me a free put, one? I uh, put it away. A lot of non-binding <laughs> statements coming out of this man right now. We'll see what happens. <laughs> all it's right, all check back just. next week for an update on this. Uh, and Reggie, obviously, you're still uh, people can see you nightly on CBS at 12:30. Yes, it, or 12:35 yeah. or something. Yes, yeah, see us on the Peacock at 12:30, <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, watch that Peacock walk all across the stage. <laughs> that's, that's all it's going to do. We're just going to uh -huh. let it walk all over wherever it pleases. Yep. And uh, also uh, check out Taskmaster on Comedy Central. Oh, that's right. That just uh, started airing a couple weeks ago, right? That's right. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Uh, I got to check that out. Taskmaster. Check it's a it game old. show that you host. It's a game show that I yeah seemingly host. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. All right. Uh, Let's see, Marguerite. What do you want to plug? My friend Alison Rich. She's great, and I know her. She just put out a web series. People still do those, I guess. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, it's called the Macmillan Genius Grant. It's a parody of the. You just go watch it, and then um, she does improv with UCB Tuesday Club, seven p.m. Used and, to be here in Los Angeles. Yes, and she's on, you can see her on the Goldbergs. There it all is. Mm, the Goldbergs. I don't watch it. None of my friends do a family sitcom, but families like it. But it is very popular. So funny. Oh, my mm -hmm. gosh. Wendy McLean and Covey, mm. killer. She's great. She's so it's about families, and it's for families. Yes, but if you are alone. Normally, television shows aren't for the things they're about. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, you well, know, it, gangsters didn't exclusively watch The Sopranos. Well, you, don't, you know know what I mean? you don't know that. That's true. You know, like CSI technicians weren't the only ones. You, usually you want to expand outward. Right. It's like make your family sitcom about things that are, you know. Right, right. You know, so like you're appealing the, to more than yes, just families. So all the lonely solo people can be like, oh, I get what it's like to Yeah, well, we'll put a lonely people. person on that show. Yes. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's do it, uh, Ming. I, I well, let me let me let me see what I want to plug. I want to plug uh, my other shows, of course. Are you talking REM re me uh, that I do with Adam Scott talking about the music of REM? You can get that on Wednesdays, and uh, our other show, Freedom, that's Paul F. Tompkins and Lauren Lapkus and myself. Uh, you can get that at Stitcher Premium. Using the code FREEDOM will get you a free month of Stitcher Premium. We're uh, still going on those, and uh, I'd say that's all I'm going to plug. Ming, I'll give you. 45 seconds. Okay, look. 
Uh, Third Grand Ballroom is a great place to see a show if you never saw one, so I'm just saying that's great. Go there. Okay. Also, uh, there's a guy, Jeremy Rowley. I think he's very fun to watch. <laughs> I like him. Here. Great. He's going to be on the Nobody's, Nobody's on TV Land, so watch that. Then also, he performs at the Groundlings every Thursday, 8 o'clock, a Cooking with Gas show. Cooking with Gas? Co- cooking with Gas is that show. more anti-vagina talk? Because I want <laughs> it wins. You, you're the one who likes be. gashes and cooking and fires. Gashes. Oh, boy. You Sorry, see? I you fucked up him? means 45. I don't. It's fine with me. This is an arbitrary thing. He's lying anyway. It could be as long as he wants it to be. He's in control. But also, uh, my last plug, I'm going to be on Comedy Bang Bang whenever this is no. coming out. No. Oh, okay. Oh, you're plugging this actual yes, show? This, this show. is like the bus ad within the bus. It's right. It's an inception of a plug. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, let's, yes. let's close up the old plug bag. Uh, oh, what a bag. It's time to open it. It's time. Right, guys, um, that's going to just about wrap it up for us. Other than hearing another song out of Oaxaca, uh, I want to thank you, uh, uh, Marguerite. Um, I hope that you put out that fire. Um, I might evacuate the building just in case. Relax. <laughs> okay. All right. And Ming, um, try to you know check your attitude next time you come. So by. you say thank you to her and to me. You give yes a because she acts differently than you because advice. you are the worst person that I've spoken to since Willie Maplethorpe. So I should say Willie thank Mapleton, you. I should say. I should say see you next time. Instead, I give loaded advice. Okay. <laughs> this is this. You stink. <laughs> look in the mirror. I hate you. What's coming back at you is not nice. <laughs> I don't need to look in the mirror for that. You know it already? Like did, when you throw a boomerang when you're in Australia, do you look in the mirror to make sure you catch it? No, it just comes back at you. But you know what? Then you're not as bored while you wait if you look in the <laughs> okay, mirror. Okay, that's a good point. Uh, Reggie, John, thank you so much for coming by. Uh, you have another song here for us? We do. Um, and what do is... Do you want me to help out? Sure, you can jump yeah, in. Yeah, we can, we can yeah, all jump, jump in. in. Ming too, maybe Scott. Yeah, all Why not? We all the make... Merciless. And this is from the upcoming, or the album that's out now, Casual High Technology. And what is this song called? It's called Runnin'. Runnin'. Yeah. Well, I've heard this one. This is the single, isn't it? it yes. Is. All right, great. Let's uh, let's do it. Right. You guys ready? Okay, here yeah, it goes. You checked your... Yeah, Reggie, your TCPIP settings yeah. are good? Yeah, I think they are. Okay. They look good to me. I think they are. They look great to me, too.
Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much. That was Wahada. We'll be back next week. Thanks. Bye. Oh. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening. And remember, a dream is just a great idea that doesn't have a website yet. Make it a reality with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easy to turn your idea into a unique website. Showcase your work, blog, or publish content. Even sell products and services of all kinds in just a few clicks. With 24-7 award-winning customer support, you can customize everything from look and feel to settings and products using beautiful templates created by world-class designers. And there is nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. Head to squarespace.com slash bangbang for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code bangbang to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. This is Andrew T. from Yo! Is This Racist? With a special announcement. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> this week, Tawny Newsom is here. She's joining us as a permanent co-host. Before I get started, mm-hmm. I you know I haven't been in the business of talking about racism for very mm-hmm. long. So I just have a few things I want to check off. Uh, just you know things that I have questions about whether or not they're racist. Yeah. Can you answer them for me? Go. Chinese chicken salads. Oh, God. Is it, yes. That's racist? Uh, the band Tame Impala. Probably not. The, the name is just, it scares me, though. Negronis. Oh, no. <laughs> It's a tough thing to order at a bar. We're going to keep discussing all the racist stuff in the world every week. Keep a tally at home for how many white women grab my hair. <laughs> Yo, is this racist? Now with 110% more Tawny Newsome. But if you're mad about something we said on it, still only tweet at Andrew because yeah, I don't care. That's for me. Yeah.